Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to install the Bitcoin Knots wallet. So before we get started, I should say that Bitcoin Knots is a similar wallet to the, you know, the Bitcoin wallet itself, the first one. And uh, we've gone over how to install that on the site. The difference here is that it's got some improvements and some faster development and such. Uh, it's a good wallet to check out if you like Bitcoin and you are interested in, you know, maybe something different than what you're used to. To get this installed, uh, please check the description. And uh, we have installation instructions, of course. But uh, I'm using uh, a, a distribution that isn't on, you know, the Debian base. So I won't be dealing with the PVA here. Instead, I'm going to need to download the standalone code. So I'm going to open up my terminal gonna right click copy link location wget and then just download this here it's much faster to just use wget instead of going through the browser and the file manager you know opening up downloads and then this and that because if we do this we can then go tar zx vf and then bitcoin knots right here and then we can extract it here. We can CD right into and uh, installing this app is pretty nice because you actually don't have to install anything at all and uh, it can be run through the terminal like I'm about to do uh, this way. You got to look for Bitcoin dash QT and do dot slash Bitcoin QT and run that and then this will set up Bitcoin knots but additionally if you don't want to run it through the terminal if you find that tedious you can go right here to this folder go to bin find QT make sure that this is set to allow as executing as a program click open mark executable and run and then we are running it outside of the terminal so I've gone through quite a few Bitcoin wallet setups in videos, and this is no different. I'm not gonna be using this as my real-time wallet. I would never do that. I'm showing you how this works. So if you see an address or a password or whatever, this is just so that you understand how it works and how you can get it running on Linux. I have no intention of using the same wallet that I'm broadcasting to the world right now. Um, so to start off, let's do the welcome screen. Just leave this default. There's no reason that you should be able to change it. Uh, maybe if you want to mess with the blockchain storage, you can go ahead and do that. I'm not going to do that. And the default directory is .bitcoin. So I'm going to click OK, and then it's going to load up. So from here, Bitcoin Knots is going to sync the entire Bitcoin blockchain. So you're going to make sure, you're going to need to make sure you've got enough free space. The Bitcoin blockchain is a couple hundred gigabytes. So if you've got a small hard drive, maybe try a different wallet out. This is more for advanced users anyways. Anyways, we can hide this. And from here, we just have a traditional wallet. We can look at our transactions, send, receive, you know, and uh, overview here. So the first step to setting up this wallet is to go to settings and click encrypt wallet. Enter a secure password. And uh, click the OK button. And now this is giving a warning and saying if you forget the password, too bad, you're going to lose everything. Uh, click yes once you understand this. Let it go. And uh, click OK. It's going to shut down, and then you can go back to knots. Open it up, let it run, hide this here. So my wallet is encrypted. I've reopened the program. Now I can send money or I can request money. If you want to know what your address is, click the request payment. And you can see this is my Bitcoin address and my QR code. Anybody can send me money through this by taking this and putting it in the send box or scanning the QR code. Additionally, I can go and send. I can add someone's address here. I can add a label and I can add the amount of VTC. And uh, say I want to send one Bitcoin, subtract the fee, 
it's going to be however much money I can use my available balance and so forth. Please check out the description as uh, that's how we can explain this to get into the to the more more of the details that I can't cover in this video because it would be long and drawn out. But uh, suffice it to say, this is how to get Bitcoin Knots working on Linux, and I will see you in the next video.